Two people were killed today after a police pursuit ended in a deadly crash. It happened at Broadway Street and Redondo Beach Boulevard in Gardena. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold tells us it all started with illegal street racing. A mangled mess is all that remains after police tried to stop a street race in Gardena. Instead, the driver they were going after took off, leading police on a brief and ultimately deadly chase. More drivers are taking uh, more dangerous and almost violent uh, um, activities with their cars and large group, group gatherings and accidents are becoming more and more common. It's very dangerous and we highly discourage it. Officers say an orange Scion was one of 100 cars involved in street racing at the intersection of Compton and Maine. They say they were taking turns racing and doing donuts in the streets. When officers tried to break up the illegal racing, the Scion sped away extremely fast. Investigators say the Scion ran a red light here at Redondo Beach Boulevard and Broadway, hitting a Chevy Suburban. Fortunately, the driver of that Suburban only suffered minor injuries. The driver and passenger of the orange Scion were killed on impact after their car hit a light pole. The force of the accident was so strong it sent debris flying through Reza Najad's auto body shop. It was really hard. It was really hard for my dad that, you know, stays here and helps with the business and. He's a little older, so it, it, it's difficult for him to see it, and it's difficult for us as a family to see him like that. Officers say street racing is a problem in the neighborhood. Najad agrees, saying it was only a matter of time before an accident took someone's life. Reporting in Gardena, Adriana Weingold, CBS 2 News.